Greetings, and welcome to episode two of Link in Skyrim. There are three things we are going to be doing today. First, we will be looking at a mod called Working Ocarina of Time. I already have it in my inventory, so let's check out what it does. All right, and we got some songs added up there. believe they're under powers. Yes. So we got Surya's song playing this song causes nearby animals to fight for you. We have Song of Healing playing this song will completely restore your health, magic, and stamina. Song of Storms playing this song causes a huge thunderstorm. Song of Time playing this song will slow down time for a short while. And Sun Song playing this song will destroy all undead within 20 feet and clear bad weather. All right. And Zelda's Lullaby. Playing this song will grant you the ability to open any log for 10 seconds. Okay. So let's uh, see what happens when we try out this one. Well, the ocarina is not showing up. It's equipped. So I guess it's not a physical thing, it's just the songs itself. Well, it's not what I was expecting it to be. So let's try the uh, Song of Time. I guess it's still somewhat useful. Wonder how long this lasts. About that long. All right, let's try out another one then. Song of Storms. I wonder if playing it again will make it go away. No, it just makes it do it over again. Alright. So let's try the, uh, the Sun Song. Hey, that's a valuable animal. I didn't do that to the animal. I got a bounty on me. Cause, wait, cause, is it because I summoned the storm and the lightning hit that bird? Well, that's not fair. I guess I'll have to be careful with that. Alright, let's see what else we got here. The Song of Healing. So let's, uh, make our stamina run out real fast and use it. My stamina is not showing up. tell what that one was doing. I'll have to use that in battle sometime. And Saria's song. And we have Epona's song up here. So let's uh, equip Saria's song and listen to it. one Epona song. So the horse is over there, so let's get a further distance away. And then try it out over here. Alright. So that's that, the uh, Ocarina mod that I had just downloaded. Uh, there was another one that I saw, so I will download it and I will feature it in the next episode. As of right now, it is time to head to our next mod.
This next mod is called the Temple of Time. It's located just here inside the mountain pass that's on your map. It's near Falkreath. It's right through this cave, so let's go on yeah. in. like the music in here so far. Alright, let's check out this door over here. I wonder if there's anything around here. I'm not seeing anything. I'll have to check it out here in a little bit. the lighting so far. And there's the Master Sword. We already have a Master Sword. But let's go ahead and check out this one anyway. This is 347 damage. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Well, if we're going to be using that, we're going to play on the hardest difficulty we can. Just for fun. Because if I'm going to be doing that much damage, I want to be able to die in one hit as well. It's only fair. So from here on out, this character will be playing on Legendary Difficulty. And with all the combat mods that I have installed, that's probably going to be a, a feat to do. But it should be pretty fun. Looks like there's some stairs here. I wonder if I have a torch. I do. I have two torches. Let's go ahead and check this out, see what's up here. The torches don't seem to be working correctly in here, as you can see. Nothing up here. All right. Oh, what's over here? Oh, wait. That's the entrance. Durr. I thought it was something else. I think that's all that was in here. Well. The mood is very, very good. I enjoy the mood in here. The music is a nice touch. The overpowered Master Sword is nice, I suppose. So I don't really need this torch. I also have the Mirror Shield, so we might as well use that. So we got us a new sword and shield. All right. So let's head back to Skyrim then. Alright, here we are back in Riverwood. So let's go ahead and level up before we check out our last mod. Summon stamina. And let's check out one-handed. I believe we need to do... Nope, we already have four in armsmen.
Alright, let's do that. Savage Strike. And I guess from here on out, we'll be putting them in Bladesman until we can uh, put one in here. And that's all we're going to need from uh, that tree, I believe. Alright, the third thing we're going to be looking at today involves a mod called Familiar Faces. And I have already made a character and set him to have Riverwood as his hangout spot, so we're just looking around for him right now. Which it's kind of hard to see at the moment, so let's go ahead and make it daytime. Oh wait, there he is. Brilliant. It is Ganondorf. Lead the way. Alright. If you can tell, uh, I made him red guard just because it matches uh, the color of his skin best. And uh, I tried to get his nose right, but I was working with something limited. I curved his chin forward just a little bit. But the armor he's using is from the Relics of Hyrule mod that is featured in the previous video. Um, this character... I'm using him through familiar faces. He's going to be Link's enemy. We're going to set him as hostile after we send him away someplace. And if we run across him in the game, uh, he's just going to straight up attack us. So, I think we're going to have some fun though. We're going to fight him for now, just to see how strong he is. And. Since I got this new Master Sword, everything's on Legendary. Since we're going to be playing with this super overpowered sword, everything's going to be on the hardest difficulty from here on out. So I believe I have to... Before I do this, I have to get rid of him from following me. I'm right behind you. I'll head back home if you need me. I'll go over here and I'll set him as hostile. But I believe I'll save real fast just in case. As he's probably going to kill me. I just want to see what it's going to be like. Alright. So let's go ahead and go to mod configuration and then go to familiar faces. Character setup. See his hangout is in Riverwood. And we want to mark enemy of player. So we'll go ahead and click that. And now, whenever he's near us, he should be hostile. So let's get prepared. Someone do something. Wow. He countered me with a block in the and that killed me. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Go to mod configuration. Familiar faces. Character setup. Enemy of player. This may not be a good idea right at the moment. We may have to wait until we're a little higher level, because he is level 27, and we are only level 14. I think he went inside that building. I wonder if we can hide from him. Get the jump on him. Oh, oh, no, he sees me. Oh, wow. Oh, I know what it is. His, it's his armor. His armor has thorns on it. I'm doing so much damage with this Master Sword, I'm killing myself. Okay, so we're going to scratch uh, fighting him right at the moment. Well, at least we have Ganon protecting Riverwood at the moment. We have still yet to inform the Jarl of the Riverwood needing aid, so they haven't sent any guards down here. 
Although we do have the Dawn Guard patrolling in each town and major hold. I believe that's going to be it for today's episode. If you like what you see, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I think the episodes coming after this are also going to be a little bit shorter, and I'm going to be checking out mods while I'm doing them, somewhat similar to this one today. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, have a good one, and peace out.